What's going on everybody? This is Professor Crypto Banana. Today's video, I'll be talking about Popsicle Finance. So, if you heard the tokens called ICE in the staked form of it, nice. This is the video for you, because we're going to be doing a basic overview. We'll be going over some advanced details, and then also talk about how it plays a cool part into DeFi 2.0. So, previous video, I discussed how these different projects, all being led by Daniele, synergize so well. Think of it as like Microsoft, got its, you know, Word, Excel, Outlook, just creates a suite of projects. Well, same thing here, except it's more focused on the innovation around LP tokens. Don't really know about LP tokens? Don't worry about it. We're just going to be learning and going through this together. Cool. So I also created some visual diagrams, hopefully to make it easier for visual learners such as myself. But hey, I'll be talking about it, you know, and working through it step by step uh, with my voice as well. So hey, we'll all learn. But before I get started, I gotta let you know I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything that is mentioned in this video is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. Keep in mind, I am not a crypto expert. I could be missing out on a lot of details. I could be wrong. Hit me up in the comments section. Let me know, uh, you know, what was right, what was wrong. Cool. We can all learn together. Keep in mind that this is all extremely risky. And also, please, 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 always do your own research. Again, do your own research, not financial advice. Okay, still with me? Of course you are. Let's get started here. So, previous videos, I talked about LP tokens. Oh my goodness, we're talking about DeFi, LP tokens, all that. All right. If you don't, if you're not familiar with it, just sit back, don't worry about it, just take a little information, whatever is beneficial, cool, okay? Because this is just to give a basic overview, and if you do understand, great, maybe there's going to be some more details in here that, uh, you know, can help us all out. So, I call LP tokens like a goosey. It's something that lays the golden eggs. Uh, it's the way how I see it as opposed to focusing on a centralized exchange, such as a company that allows you to get certain tokens and do the swapping, uh, you can actually do this in like the wild, wild west with decentralized exchanges, which is just like code that allows things to happen, and people temporarily giving up their funds to allow people to then do the trades. Because if I, let's say, have a banana coin, and you have an apple coin, and I want to swap for it, how does that work? I can't go to like, you know, the code and say, give me apple coin. It's like, uh... I don't know, I guess, like, how do you determine value? It's like, okay, well, it should be worth this. Okay, well, then how do I swap it from this to this? You know, so it, it's, it's kind of, like, complicated. You don't have to necessarily understand it. Just know that it, by people temporarily giving up their funds, they get rewarded for it. So then that way uh, people can use decentralized exchanges such as your Uniswap, your Sushi Swap, your Spooky Swap, Spirit Swap, all these swaps. Uh, so then you can just, like, exchange back and forth cool cool so there's always risks involved with being a liquidity provider however know those risks such as like a permanent loss i don't know about like taxes so you know you gotta you do you you gotta research that. i'm not a, a tax expert by any means but that's just the main idea okay cool so we got lp tokens so for in a previous example i said like i got my spell and i got my phantom right and maybe this is not like implemented but like that's my lp token it's just like combine, take two tokens, combine it, temporarily give it away, and then hopefully you get some rewards that, uh, you know, make you really profitable in the long run. So, everybody loves Goosey. You got Abracadabra Money Bank says like, ooh, hey, that Goosey, yeah, hey, deposit over here, fam, I'll give you out a loan, what you need. Grim Finance on Phantom, man, I love Phantom, it's my bae, uh, so they got like an auto compounder, like, hey, hey, no, bring those LP tokens over here, we can utilize it, we can make that work for you. Now, there's also Popsicle Finance, right? And now they're going to be implementing a lot of stuff coming up in the future. Really, really cool, really innovative. Uh, if you're looking at the suite of projects, uh, DeFi 2.0, Popsicle Finance should work really well with Abracadabra, that there, there's like a synergy there where you can, Daniele's allowing it where you'd be able to deposit the LP tokens that you have from Popsicle Finance and borrow against it in Abracadabra. Cool? All right probably more a little bit advanced but stick with me here now if you're on the side of like dude just tell me what the heck's going on with popsicle finance so i can go do laundry all right here's what here's what we got essentially in the near term future very near term, very near term future popsicle finance is going to allow us that when you give your lp tokens meaning your funds temporarily they're going to get you the best yield on the ethereum sides specifically on Uniswap version 3 because it's complicated on how to do it. They found, they are claiming that they found a way how to get you like the best yields or extremely good yields. Uh, it's going to auto compound so then you don't have to worry about gas fees and whatnot when you know you, you want to auto compound. So that is really cool, really cool. Uh, and th with that revenue then they can 
you know, from the rewards, they take a small portion to buy their ice token and give that as rewards to the sta the stakeholders. So if you have nice, then you get rewarded for that. So that is pretty much the gist on that side. In addition, after that, they're coming out with the limone. I'm going to mispronounce this, but then it's the ability to go across different blockchains. So let's say you have a pairing like of tokens. So I have like Spell and Phantom combined. Ah, it's on the Phantom side. Ooh, I'm getting such great rewards. Okay, uh, but my friend Jim, he's over there on Avalanche, and uh, he's getting better rewards than me. This is some BS. What the heck? Popsicle Finance says, chill, professor, chill. We'll bounce you will bounce those tokens. I'm like, okay, but uh, do I have to like monitor this? What do I have to do? They're like, no, 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 no. We'll do this automatically. Okay, do I have to worry about gas fees? And it's like, what are you worried about gas fees for, man? You're on, you're on Phantom. You're on Avalanche. Like that's nothing comparison to, to Ethereum. I'm like, but, but you, know, you know, like it, it does chip into some of my, my rewards. You know, if I have to constantly, they're like, all right, stop complaining. We'll take care of that for you as well. So you're saying like I deposit my LP tokens on the Phantom side, and you're automatically going to scan the horizon on like Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, Phantom, and just like pop it wherever it needs to go, and. I just got to sit here and you're going to auto compound it. I don't have to worry about gas fees. They're like, yeah. That's awesome. So are there going to be probably competing products? Perhaps. Meaning like other projects trying to do the same thing? Perhaps. You know, that that's definitely a thing. Uh, but this is what Popsicle Finance is offering. I'm excited. I like it, how it also fits into DeFi 2.0. And at this point, if you want to go do laundry, Go for it, okay? But I'm going to go even like a little bit further, more diagrams to explain a little bit more. So if you want to stick with me, let's go. So we talked about LP tokens, right? You can deposit into Popsicle Finance, and then they're going to automatically try to get you the best yield on Uniswap version 3, and you're going to get rewards as represented here with golden eggs. Haha, -ha, rewards, cool. And then what they do, it auto compounds. Now, auto compounding is huge, especially the longer course of time. There's a difference between APR and APY. So APR is if you just got like $100 in and you get $1 every day. You're like, oh, this is cool, this is cool. Oh yeah, $1, mm, mm, mm. But then you go buy yourself something else or, you know, chocolate bar, okay. But what if you took that $1 every day and put it back into your original investment? So then you have $101, $102. 103 and then that rewards you know it's like okay now it looks like a dollar a penny a dollar five cents you know but eventually when you look at it through a long course of time the it just the amount of rewards is insane so when you see some but like some projects saying we'll give you fifty thousand percent apy that's why because <laughs> they're auto compounding that much throughout the year that that's the rewards happen at the tail end of the spectrum, so like you know, towards the end of the year. But that's just the concept. Now, a lot of things have to be considered. Like, okay, will the rewards still be that high, and and all that good stuff? But that is the concept. So that's really cool. Now you have an optional side as well, and this is where that innovation comes in. In addition, because the Uniswap version three side, from what I read, complicated. Okay, so we're not gonna go into those details. Y'all can read it. Maybe I'll do a different video and I'll learn about it as well. I don't know, but it's the optional side. What if I put a thousand dollars into Goosey and man, that's a lot of money. I put that into Popsicle Finance. It's doing its thing. It's auto compounding. Hmm. All right. Uh, but uh, all of a sudden, I got an NFT. I want to get. I want a token on a different side. Uh, you know, on Phantom that I, I I'm really interested in. Uh, I want to actually borrow against my $1,000 investment and leverage up, meaning I'm willing to risk losing it, but then if it goes up, I gain more. So risk more, gain more. Maybe it's not the best idea. Maybe it is. Maybe I want to risk it. Well, this provides the ability to do so. And that is really where that innovation comes in with the LP tokens. So you could be getting, you know, you temporarily give up your funds to an LP token, and it's just accruing all the trading fees and just building up cool give it to popsicle finance it does even more of like the auto compounding and the rewards this is amazing well an optional side again this is even more risk you can go to the wizard at abracadabra say yo uh dude give me a loan 
he's like, okay, well, how do you want to use it? I'm like, I just want to get more LP tokens because, man, I think the rewards are great. I'm willing to risk more, auto-compile more, and that's aka called leverage. And there's a feature in Abracadabra where you can just call it, like, loop it, where it's like, oh, I know what you're trying to do. Okay, I'll save you some gas fees. And it just does that for you. Whoa. Okay, so keep in mind, a lot of this stuff is not out yet, right? But this is the premise of soon amazing stuff, right? Okay, what's option B? Well, you got the thousand dollars over here into Goosey, and now you can take out a loan against it. And now you can get yourself a different token. You know, you can literally take money out uh, to a certain percentage. You can borrow money against it and put money into your bank account. So is really cool, amazing. I like that. So then you could put up Goosey as what's known as collateral, meaning hey, the wizard will give you a loan, but he needs something secured to say, uh, if you don't come back with my money, I got something that's worth value that I can sell to say, okay, screw the loan, you know, altogether. That's the concept. Now, what's cool is when you give the goosey, or in this case, it'll be what you have deposited in Popsicle Finance, you can give it to the wizard and as collateral, but that thing is still making money. Yeah? And then you got that loan. Now, hopefully with that loan, you do something smart with it, like maybe if you get more collateral, more goosey, then hey, you're getting like more rewards because then you're saying like, whoa, my collateral is getting rewards. What I reinvested with that loan is getting also rewards. Like what if I borrow against it and then what I invested in got like a lot of rewards. I could like pay that off or I could do more and, and just there, there's a lot of options, a lot of strategies. Keep in mind, risky. Know about liquidation. When the price drops to that liquidation price, that means the wizard got to sell everything that you deposited, and boom, that stuff is gone forever. I made that mistake. Don't make that mistake. Know about that. When it comes to LP tokens, know the risk. Know about impermanent loss. Understand the smart contract risk. All that good stuff. So, yeah. Okay, next one. Woo! So, how? why, why is ICE such a big deal then, right? Because we talked about LP tokens, popsicle finance, da da da. So this, in and of itself, amazing. Auto compounding, all that good stuff. Yeah. But if you buy the ICE token and you stake it, meaning you buy the token and you deposit it, what you can essentially then do is let it grow. And when you decide it's time to cash out or take out a certain amount, you get more of it. Okay. Well, then the question becomes: Is it worth it? Right, because if you know you buy the token and then you're like, okay, I think I'm going to get more. What's what's the utility? What's the value? Well, this is where I hope to clear that up. So you get Goosey, Popsicle Finance does the Uniswap version three, gets the rewards. Okay, when you are ready to take out some of the rewards, you know, withdraw. Popsicle Finance says, hey, listen, we did we bustled <laughs> we bustled <laughs> we hustle and bustled. And we are going to take a cut of that rewards. So granted, you didn't have to pay the gas fees. You didn't have to look for the best rewards. Everything cool. But we're going to take a portion of that rewards for ourselves. And we'll still give you a ton back. And what we do with that rewards is we're going to buy, in this case, tw let's say 20%. The rates can vary. I'm not sure. It could be like 20% at launch. Then later on, it becomes 10%. I'm not sure. But boom, they buy the ICE token. So it's like a buyback feature. So let's say there's a limited amount of ICE tokens and people aren't wanting to buy and then stake. Well, guess what? Based off the rewards, because everybody's like trying to get the best rewards, auto compounding, they love that idea. Everybody's making money. Popsicle finances, I just, we're going to take a little sliver of that cut for ourselves and reward the people that, you know, believe in the project and are invested into it and are staking their tokens. So then that way they get more. So. To clarify, ICE is the governance token. I think NICE is when you stake it. Okay? So that's why I put that stake icon right there. Yeah. So keep in mind, NICE, you can only stake ICE on the Ethereum side. Let me repeat that. If you have ICE tokens and you wish to stake it, it can only happen on the Ethereum side. But Professor, you got to pay a lot of gas fees. That is true. So keep that in mind before you do anything. Know about gas fees. Because if you have, let's say, $100, you're like, 
Professor, what you said is amazing. I want in. How can I do this? Well, just keep in mind, if you do anything on the Ethereum side, it carries a gas fee. So if you have $100 and the gas fee total is like $300, does that make sense? No, you're already in the hole. If you have like even $500 and you're doing some stuff, ugh, not worth it. So then you say, great, Professor, this is a whales game. Not exactly. Not exactly. Hear me out on this. Because I think the team, the devs, understand this, and they as I mentioned with the lemon side, right, where it does like the limonade, <laughs> they, they're able to do like different blockchains with low gas fees and it makes it awesome. They're probably going to do the same thing as they did with Memo, Time, Wonderland, all that type of stuff. So they are essentially, you can buy ICE token on Phantom right now. They got, they allow it, you don't have to, I think the LP tokens, essentially you, you, you can get it, right? Now, NICE currently, at the time of this video, does exist on the Phantom side, but you know how I talk about LP tokens, people allowing you to swap? I don't think that's out there. I don't think there's any incentive, so it may be extremely difficult, but it is out there. You can look at the contract address, all that stuff. So really great news because if, let's say, you're on the Phantom side and you say, I want that type of exposure. I believe in Popsicle Finance. I believe in all the rewards, and I want in on this, but I'm not paying the dang gas fees you can literally get exposure to that by simply buying NICE on the Phantom side because this equals this. This on, NICE on the Phantom side will equal this on the Ethereum side. Professor, how? Well, this is why I made that side area right here, okay? Because with the things of any swap, you can bridge your tokens over from Ethereum to Phantom, and this is currently what's supported in the future. I don't know, but that, that's the concept. So then, technically, if I decide to be on the Phantom side, I could bridge NICE tokens over to Ethereum, unstake it, get my ICE token, and then sell it, if I really, really, really wanted to. Does that make sense? Not really, because that's going to take a lot of gas fees. Now, perhaps there's some arbitrage where the price on the Ethereum side is really high and then it's you know really low or vice versa. Maybe it's extremely high on the Phantom side, very low on the Ethereum side and some whales like, ooh, you're telling me I can just uh, buy it here? Well, I got it inverse, but you get the idea. You're saying I can buy one token really low on one chain and then just bridge it on over and sell it because I'm a whale, I don't care about gas fees? Yeah, that's a possibility as well. So these are different options, it's really cool, but the main takeaway is Popsicle Finance, auto compounding, got a lot of great features coming up and they get like a small cut, makes sense, I'm completely fine with that. And then they're allowing that exposure on different blockchains just straight up. So then if I am on the, and this is what I'm doing actually, because I am invested, I got ICE, I'll probably wait to see how I can get into the nice side, right? But I can just live in this environment right here and never have to worry about the Ethereum gas fees, nor do I want to because this is just like this. Nice on the Phantom side is the exact same as nice on the Ethereum side. It means it's just staking, getting rewards, and benefiting from it. So throw that out to you. I'll let you guys kind of ponder on that, think about it, yeah? But anyways, so I talked about Abracadabra money. We talked about, quick reminder, in case we forgot, optional, Abracadabra, woo, you can borrow against it. It's kind of the same thing. Now. They came out with SHIB, so I'm just reusing that screenshot. Deal with it. So, imagine that this is ICE. You can borrow MIM. And that would be kind of like your stable coin. Think of it as $1. You can take it anywhere, or not anywhere, but a lot of decentralized exchanges, a lot of blockchains, and then do whatever you'd want as if you would with a stable coin, uh, as a USDC, as a tether coin. It's just, it's worth $1. You can swap it for a different token, get whatever you want. You could get like a NFT then once you swap for whatever you needed, etc. So it gives a lot of ability to do that. So you can, or even put that into fiat and put it into the bank. Uh, so then just keep in mind of liquidation prices always, always, always. And then you can always change your leverage which is known as looping. So what if you wanted to deposit ice and then get even more ice? Or maybe not ice, but what if I want to do like LP tokens that are stored on Popsicle Finance and borrow against it and do even more? Well then you have the ability to change the leverage how many times you want to like 
hey, borrow against it, get all the LP tokens, deposit it back, borrow against it. You know, there, there's a limit to how much you can do, but uh, in order to save you on gas fees and doing all that work, it's going to have a feature that allows you to do that. So, oh, 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 oh. With me so far, man, I applaud y'all. In fact, I'm taking a drink. Let's just chill. Okay, this is at 20 minutes. I'm going to try to just skim through this. Uh, if you want me to go further into detail. So Popsicle Finance currently ranked 267. Uh, probably had a drop because, and this is my speculation, because they repaid a lot of the victims that were hacked or the funds that happened. What? Hacked? Should I be concerned? I don't know. I mean, there's always smart contract risk, but what I really like is the fact that they were able to repay everybody for the hack. I think this is the reason why they're slower to deploy all the changes because they want to make sh you know as best. How do I say? It? They want to fully ensure the best of their ability that everything is Gucci. Yeah, that's how I see it. So people are looking at like push, 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 get it out, get it out, get it out, win, 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 win was because they don't want to repeat those mistakes and they want to do the best that they can. So I applaud that. Uh, and in addition, they repaid the people that were hacked with, with the ICE tokens or NICE tokens. And I think some people sold off or some people you know, panicked, whatever. So that could be you know temporary drop. I don't know. You do you. I mean, again, speculation. But just, I think the hack happened like, uh, I don't know when necessarily. Maybe like back here, back in you know early 2021. So you can take a look at that. But overall, you can always go with the idea that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You know, they, they were able to bounce back and repay everybody. So that's, that's always a great thing to see. I like that personally, but you do you. Now, when it comes to MIM, Abracadabra Money rank number 71. So some people maybe get scared like, oh, borrowing, how do I know if this is gonna hold, etc. Well, if there's any consolation, it's definitely higher up there in rank big market cap. Uh, spell, that's how people get rewarded. If So you put your collateral to the wizard and you borrow against it, okay, there's a small fee that happens against it. Now hopefully, with every interest and all the rewards that you're getting, man, that APR is minuscule. Like 5% APR in the year? Man, that's really low, but spell holders are rewarded for that. So then, like, that's 87. Uh, <clears throat> here's just a quick look at Popsicle. Finance. Uh, I'm going to let you know that I'm in incognito mode, so everything that you see is like going to be like, hey, okay, that's just how it is. <laughs> you're, you're not going to be able to see a lot. Uh, the, again, a lot of the stuff isn't live, so just keep that in mind. I'll let you dig through. Take a look at the documentation. Man, there, there's a lot of stuff here that they talk about. Um, so talk about Soberetto. That's where you got your Fragola. Think about the red strawberry, Uniswap version 3. And when it's like Limone, uh, that is more yellow across different blockchains. So different names. Um, what's cool about this that I should also state is that they got different functionality that's really cool. Uh, for example, join proportionally. So let's say you only have one token and you don't want to waste the gas fees to swap to the other one. You just like probably click on that, say this is what I got, balance it out for me between the two tokens, boom, done. So that's really awesome. You can get like different stats to see how it's probably doing everything. Really cool. Uh, let's see here. So with the, maybe this is uh, something to consider, right? There was like Cream Finance and they had an issue recently. So this portion, Gelateria, this is like way further out, way further out. And maybe they were trying to do something with Cream Finance and look to build on it, but maybe they're taking extra, extra time. I, I'm sure like, you know, this was so further out that they're like, uh, no, <laughs> maybe we're not touching this. Or maybe Cream gets the exploit all figured out, all Gucci, good to go. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future, but this is something that is really cool because this is going to be a lending protocol. Uh, so maybe it will use Evercadaver money in the background of it. So I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't know about the Fraft.io. I think it'd probably be cool, but I'd have to understand it more. So when we talk about hacks, it happens. It's a part of the risk that we discussed, right? So then you know, this happened back apparently maybe August 2021. Cool. So then this is more information about it. Uh, take a look at it, you know, if you really want to know. But again, Daniele, and I think the team did a great job in, in making that all happen. And then they even made a post saying like, hey, we repaid everybody. So that is really awesome. Um, in addition, here's the address of NICE 
on the phantom side. So be cautious. Uh, don't, you know, if you see, you're like, oh, yeah, 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 I want to buy it. Chill. <laughs> Make sure that there's not a lot of slippage, like you don't lose a ton of money because you got to have people that are willing to give up their funds temporarily to allow you to swap. And if you don't, oh, you can lose a lot of money. So just be aware. Just, like, watch out. Make sure, like, you're getting a good amount uh, for your token. But I'm sure by the time you watch this or in the near future, you'll know a lot. Now, DeFi side, yeah, a lot of places are actually getting hacked. Uh, so that's always a risk, something to keep in mind. Uh, you know, the Cream Finance, they had something that went down. And some of the, from what I read, some of the vulnerabilities was in other projects as well. So they're cleaning up. So as long as they're able to clean up, get things going, that is what's most important in my eyes. So com risk reward comes with that. Okay. Probably said that enough. Uh, some extra to leave on kind of a higher note, cooler note. Uh, so again, mentioned Daniele's Twitter. So he mentioned, so sometimes you'll see stuff like this, like, what about the refilling? Well, people want to borrow against their tokens, okay? And people are getting impatient saying, like, dude, I want to do more, but I can't because what the funds are available, it's not there. I can't do it. Okay. Well, he's saying, uh, why haven't we been refilling it so much? Because we, we are keeping them for Popsicle Finance LP's leverage. Whoa. And, you know, in terms of time frame, this was on October 30th. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Another thing is, man, watch watch this guy's amount of followers. I use this as a metric to see how many people are adopting, getting into the project, so into the Popsicle, into, you know, uh, Spell, Mim, all that good stuff. This is the site where you can use Abracadabra money and do the loans. Again, incognito, most of you all ain't going to see it. And then when people are saying like, hey, you're not following Daniele? Oh, no, I'm following. Again, incognito mode. So we all going to chill. And then let's look at this. So Popsicle Finance recently had a proposal passed where they said, okay, 20% of the rewards that they get from doing that auto compounding and finding the best yield, that's where it's going to go to the people that are staking their ice, aka nice. So uh, that is really good rewards and something that I'm personally bullish on as of right now. And finally, I'm just going to give you some resources here. Phantom Alerts, I got to give a shout out, and he does a great job explaining it. In fact, I watched one of his videos and he was like, dude, y'all need to check out ice and because of that that's how i actually got into the <laughs> rabbit hole of DeFi 2.0 etc i don't recall which video but just in general on the phantom side i love it because of the low gas fees and whatnot and i can get the ice i can do the bridging all that good stuff so you know i want to give credit out there and in addition if you got any more videos that you just want to like look at like try to understand lp tokens or time which is another one of the DeFi 2.0 projects or the overview of the DeFi 2.0 feel free to check it out so i guess i'm using myself as my own resource that's pretty cool hey i think with that being said that's really all that i got for you guys so with that pieces <laughs>